Today I'm tackling the question, can you upload different style of beats to one channel or how should you go about selling beats if you make all kinds of beats? Now, if you've done any research for selling beats online, you will know that this question does seem impossible. As I'm sure you've always heard, make a channel and only upload one genre or one niche of beat. And niching down is never a bad option, but what if you want to post more than just one style of beat? Would it ruin your views? Would it ruin your SEO? And would you be forced to make a new channel for every genre you want to create? And what would you do if Heat had something very special planned for Black Friday announcing in next week's video? The question I'm answering in today's video is a question that I receive on a weekly basis. And after responding to it so many times, I figured, why not make a video on it? Looking at the traditional method that many producers have with success with uploading beats to YouTube, it is quite simple. Find your niche, make a beat, find an image of the rapper that fits that beat, upload that bad boy, and last but not least, do that every single day. But what if one day you wake up and you say to yourself, you know what? I don't want to make a young boy type beat. Well, sorry, buddy. If you decide to switch genres, it's going to be your worst performing video ever. So the real question is how do we get to create whatever we want and still have people support us? Dare I say, how do you create a fan base of viewers? As a producer just uploading tight beats to YouTube, you really, really miss out what YouTube is all about. YouTube nowadays is all about establishing a community or audience. And that algorithm that you're trying so hard to beat, it's just the average person. Quite honestly, an audiophile with a photo of a rapper is some of the worst overall content that gets posted onto YouTube. Yes, artists do search for this content, but wouldn't it be nice to entertain rappers or have them view your content even when they're not solely focused on digging through type beats on YouTube? And also, when your channel is only built on young boy type beats, that's the only base you have to establish and build an audience. So you don't need to make 27 different channels. It's all about establishing the correct base of building an audience on just one of them. Listen, producers, I'm gonna be honest. If you never want to show your face, your personality, or have the thought to do something different, how are you ever going to build a community? And what is going to attract people to you and what you are doing? After all, you're doing nothing different than 1,000 other producers just uploading tight beats every day. So now let's talk about how to build your base when uploading multiple genres to the same channel. First, understand that your brand is established by consistency over a long period of time. Ever notice how we always upload these videos at 12 p.m. on Fridays? Because we've been doing this for months now, our audience, you the viewer, knows that our upload time is 12 p.m. on Friday and you look forward to it. So at the very, very least, establish what genres do you want to create and make a schedule to follow. But Ryan, you've even said that R&B artists won't care to watch my boom bap beats. And yes, that is 100% true. But that's what happens when you build an audience nowadays. Ever notice how we have almost 8,000 subscribers, but don't get all 8,000 people to watch all of our videos? Not every video is for every viewer, but if you can have your artists know which days to expect their style of beat being posted on your channel, that's a way better start. Second, do something different. For the love of God, try something different. Have you ever heard that quote about doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is simply insanity? Aren't you ready to try something different? And aren't you still curious about that Black Friday announcement we'll be making in next week's video? Think about this, if you were truly working in a business, they would look at you crazy right now for not trying something different after months of barely any growth on your YouTube channel. Hell, they would probably even fire you because disregarding sales, you can barely build a viewer base. And third, one of the hardest questions to answer, but why should I give a sh about you? Now, this is by far one of the most aggressive and humbling questions to answer but why should I watch your content? 
But now I know the question you have is if I don't make tight beats, what should my content look like? Now, if you're ready for that answer, drum roll, please. You need to read this book by the manager of Mr. Beast. Now, I know you're ready to click off, but that is a terrible idea. YouTube has never been more focused about establishing a community and a fan base among yourself as a creator or as a producer. Spend about 10 minutes checking out Curtis King on YouTube and you'll see just how true that statement is. And also, the best part of building your brand is you can charge whatever prices you want. Now, I'll leave that video at the end screen for you to check out about charging whatever prices you want when building your brand. But that's it for today's video. Peace out. Uh, we got that mouth. <laughs>